Hi, this is Pete from the Essex Ham website, bringing you a quick introduction to the world of high altitude balloon tracking. I'll be honest, this is something I knew nothing about until local amateur Chris Stubbs, M6 EDF, got in touch. Around the world, enthusiasts get together to let off helium filled weather balloons with a payload of cameras, GPS trackers, and radio transmitters, and then use a network of trackers to plot the journey of the balloon, then pinpoint the landing site and retrieve the payload. I hope to be able to tag along to one of these launches in the near future, but in the meantime, here's my experience of tracking one of the two balloons launched today, Sunday, the 5th of May 2013. Two balloons were released from a location to the west of Cambridge, and I was able to track the second one very well. Signals from the balloon were on the 70 SEMS band as single sideband, and my standard rig can't cope with these, so I used an SDR, a software defined radio. The one I went for was my cheap and trusty Realtek RTL2832 dongle. This costs around £10 and plugs into a computer or a laptop USB socket. Links coming up later. This was connected to my main 2 meter and 70 SEMS collinear on the roof. Next, software. I picked the free package SDR Sharp. This package lets you tune into the correct frequency and set USB. Balloon flights are announced on the UKHAS.org.uk site and frequencies were given. The flight I tracked was on 434.244 MHz, plus or minus a little bit. Here's what the signal looked like on the SDR Sharp package. The two narrow bars are essentially packets of RITI data. Next, I used DL, FL, Digi to decode the packets. It took a while to get the software to recognise the audio from the SDR, and after some juggling I was able to get everything to work, and eventually packets were received and decoded. Now the clever bit. On the website spacenear.us there's a real-time tracker that shows the location of the balloon, based on uploads from spotters like me. My spots were appearing on the map, showing the path of the balloon. The various spotters and the balloon owners all hang out in an IRC chat room, and a good dozen or so folk were tracking the flight too. Following the balloons were the owners in a chase car, ready to recover the payload. The balloon I tracked covered a distance of 12 miles due north, over two and a half hours flight, reaching a height of 32,000 meters. It eventually touched down between Peterborough and March. The tracking site shows altitude against time and the eventual landing site, almost in a river. It's great fun to play with something new radio-wise and we'll certainly be trying a little balloon tracking again. Well done to today's balloonists and thanks to Chris Stubbs, M6 EDF, owner of one of today's payloads, called Cheapo, for introducing me to this activity. For links to the software and hardware mentioned here, plus a video of what Essex looks like from one of Chris's flights, go to www.essexham.co.uk forward slash HAB, High Altitude Balloon. This introductory guide was brought to you by Essex Ham, promoting amateur radio in Essex.